Welcome to OneStream's update, presenting to you all added and or improved functionalities. Changelog version 1.1.39 Improvement to Safari support We have improved the UI on several pages under the browser Safari for a better user experience. Improved handling of symlinks in TV underscore archive folder. Now even if the directories are symlinked correct size of the TV, archive for the given channel will be presented when administrating the panel. Improved UI credits logs, convert line slash device. We have cleared some minor issues in these functionality. Credit logs now has a correct tab title and convert line slash device functionality now hides the button when there is no permission to the group. Improvements in migration script. This optimized a migration script to present a faster and better migration process for all our newly joined members. Improved handling of watch folder overlap checks. Watch folders will not be overlapped during long runs and duplication of video on demand content will not be possible. Added setting for Nginx cache for XML TV, PHP. This will benefit you by lowering the load on your main server as the responses for XML TV, PHP will be cached and not generated per request. This functionality extends our approach with cache for Stalker and XC API that you can turn on from edit server form. Improvement to DB backup handling. We are now exporting more consistent backups of your panel so you'll be able to recover your system if any hardware failure happens at any point. Redesign series add slash edit. Yet another page migrated to React.js for optimized user experience and speed of action when you need to complete a task. Explore our responsive design, perfect for any workflow on desktop or mobile, the series add slash edit page is now more user-friendly. Added option to change default language track. Now you can select default available languages for any video on demand content. This can be done at the bottom of the page's edit slash create episode or edit slash create movie. Improvement to API. Unlock exceptional performance boosts with our upgraded API, guaranteeing that your applications operate at peak efficiency. Added option to convert between mag and line. This will give you and the resellers of your panel the opportunity to convert a line into a mag device and vice versa without the need to recreate subscriptions on your platform. Added option to set port knock to secure SSH. Port knocking is a new layer of security that our application will provide you with from this version forward. Port knocking will restrict any incoming SSH connection if the correct sequence of ports has not been knocked before the attempt to connect. To activate go to the page setting dash panel dash security settings, bottom of page, you will be able to specify three ports after you enter the ports you need to rebuild the IP tables on all servers. We have a bulk action to make this easier for you. Remember that the sequence must be kept when executing the knocks. Added scheduled task to monitor on-demand streams. This will monitor the sources of your on-demand underscore stop channels when activated. This will benefit you as in the recent future we will introduce a filter for on-demand channels with a failed probe on the managed streams page. You can turn this on from setting dash, panel dash, scheduling settings, but keep in mind that this may cause some restarts of streams if connections of your provider are exceeded. Optimization in stream handling. Now when moving streams from managed servers, from one load balancer to another, they will be started automatically. Presenting you, this version's bug fixes. Fixed wrong dashboard streams count. Fixed generating wrong time in 24-7 channels EPG. Fixed number of episodes in season in API. Fixed division by zero in pegs. All of that and many more. Come to our website for more updates. Stay tuned in 2024, and remember, best is yet to come. Thank you for watching this one stream update video.